Hello, my name's Alexis, and welcome back to my reading journal. Today we are planning for the month of August. I was inspired by these sticker sheets that I got as a part of the Sticky Club subscription. I will link them below if I can find the links to buy them individually. I actually do not recommend the first sticker sheet with the more muted colors because you will see those stickers. I don't know what happened. They did not hold up. They were just like disintegrating in my hands. But this second sticker sheet with the bunnies is so cute and I really just wanted a bunny sunflower theme this month. So I ended up drawing this in Pro create on my iPad. I used this image of a bunny in a strawberry field as my inspiration. I will link it below. I found it on Pinterest and I just kind of threw it in Procreate and drew right over it. I am not a great artist but I sometimes can make okay work as long as I have a reference to copy. So yeah, pretty happy with this cute little guy. Moving on to our next page, we're doing a big calendar view like always. Now this spread really just everything goes wrong with it. So for this calendar, the first column all the way to the left is actually Saturday. So this calendar goes Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, yeah, this wasn't on purpose. I am not a weirdo that does my calendars this way. I just really messed up when trying to figure out how many days were in the month. Um, so here I very clearly missed a day in the beginning because the month starts on a Thursday. It should have went Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the calendar should have restarted on Sunday in that left column. But yeah, that's not what happened. So it's okay. We saved the day by adding an extra box at the bottom so I didn't have to redo all the numbers. Um, and now it just looks goofy. But I don't really use this calendar anyways besides to kind of track readathon. So it's fine. Nobody's going to notice except for me and you. So now I am just taping in a yellow piece of paper for my TBR just to kind of give it its own section, add a pop of color, and trying to figure out how I want to decorate around it. So I added in a little bird sticker, some gardening washi tape. I end up adding in some acorn washi tape. I just kind of wanted like a cottage core gardening flower summer vibe for this spread. So here I add in my TBR, a little sneak peek to the video that will hopefully be coming out Wednesday the 31st. I am trying to be better with my TBRs. I have really been pushing myself these last few months to read like way more books than I can in a month. So I have been failing at my TBRs like horribly. So we're only going with 10 this month except I'm kind of already breaking that rule because there's like eight books that I didn't even count on my TBR, but it's fine. Readathons, you're supposed to push yourself. So going in with some whiteout tape just to fix the little errors I made and the acorn tape I told you about. And here I am just marking in my readathons for the month. So, oop, actually only one readathon this month. The other ones are going to be for dates where I am traveling. So on the 1st to the 13th, we have the full moon readathon hosted by the incredible Jan Agaton. I think this is the second or third year we've been doing this. I know I've participated in all of them. It's a super fun readathon. I will link her announcement video below. And then after that, from the 8th to the 12th, I am going on my annual camping trip that I go on every summer with my friends. And then towards the end of the month, I am also taking a trip to Lake George for the first time ever. So a very busy August, which again is why I need an easier TBR this month. But I'm just not going to put pressure on myself. If I don't finish all the books, it's fine. So moving on to our next spread. This is going to be my readathon spread for the full moon readathon. So these graphics were created by Jan. I stole the templates from her Instagram and then I put them in Canva and I added borders around them to make them look like tarot cards because that's what Jan said she was inspired by when making these and I thought that is such an incredible idea. Let me lay out my reading journal spread as if it was a tarot card spread that I just pulled these cards and they were on the table and 
yeah that's the vision in my head so I actually in Canva I put the document size like as the measurement of my reading journal spread and I don't know what happened because when I printed them out they were still too big so you see I had to like kind of cut them out and overlap them a little bit but I think it still turned out really cool like it really does look like I just threw the cards down onto the journal and then just to add a little extra something, I drew in some stars and sparkles with a glittery silver gel pen and just a super simple but pretty readathon spread. So after that, I am doing my books red spread, same format that I followed last month. You see, I'm flipping back and forth to count how many squares I need for each column. And yeah, I just really like how it turned out. It's different, but I feel more organized. I feel like I can just see each line is its own book. I feel like I have more space to write things in and yeah I like it so I'm going to keep going with it until I get sick of it or find a better system that works for me. So I kept this one super super simple. I just did some acorn washi tape at the top and bottom and then highlighting every other line with the yellow I've been using throughout. And then across the top, I am going to be tracking the title and the author, how many pages or hours a book is, what year it was published, how I acquired the book, so library, bought, borrowed, that kind of stuff, format I read it in, the dates I read it, the genre, and the rating. And here you see me struggling with the sticker sheet again. I'm just trying to find something that doesn't come off on my finger. I don't know what's up with these stickers, but we finally did it. These flowers seem to be holding up better than the girl faces, even though the girls are so pretty. I really wanted to use them. So anyways, moving on to my final spread that I do every month, the stats page, of course. And if you've watched any of my other plan with me's, you'd know I usually have like pre-printed circles I use for my pie charts. I could not find them. I don't know where I put them. So my water bottle ended up being the perfect size. So I improvised and just traced that on the page. We don't need to be perfect here. And then yeah, just following the same layout as last month, I do a little box where I'm going to track my totals. So my total books read, pages read, and hours listened. The green box is going to be for the format. So audio, ebook, or physical. And a new addition from just a few months ago is the Coffin Covers Challenge. Of course, this is a perk of Jan's Patreon that I'm a part of. It's a little challenge to read a book with a specific item on the cover every month. So I had to put in a little box for that. And here I am just doing my two bar graphs that I do. I do one for the ratings I give books and then the acquired, like, just like on the last page, if it was a book I owned or bought or all that stuff. Then labeling my pie charts, I track my authors and my genres and just adding in all my titles. Cute. And now we get to the fun part, adding in the decor. So adding in more of that washi tape just to kind of bring all the spreads together and more of those bunny sunflower stickers because you know I had to use every sticker on that sheet. They are just so cute and they make me so happy to look at my reading journal. Okay, so here we have it. Here is the final flip through of the month. I'm really happy how this turned out. I liked the more simplistic, not too art heavy. Like I know I drew the entire cover page, but well, traced the entire cover page and then drew in the sunflowers. But other than that, like it's pretty simple. It was all printed out stuff or stickers that I had and just adding in little extra things here or there to bring it all together.
If you made it this far, please leave me a sunflower or a bunny emoji to represent the month. And as always, I hope you read a good book today and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.